ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Yeah. So this is uh, the title of uh, the speech today is about implementation, digital transportation and logistics in era society 5.0. Yeah. So this is my curriculum vitae. I'm now a section head of education in NLC, also in SPB, Associated Specialist Barang Berbahaya, and I also a senior lecturer and in Institute Transportasi Logistik Trisakti, also as a lecturer in EPIC and Universitas Indonesia, and also as a trainer of Dangerous Good, yeah, and that is uh, my latest uh, my recent uh, experience in ground handling and airline. I also as a writer and uh, journal author. Okay, so how about digital society uh, definition? This is uh, actually as a fundamental framework of thinking between human interaction with technology that aims to make life better. So you can you could say society 5.0 is the solution to the industrial revolution 4.0. If the industrial revolution 4.0 echoes artificial intelligence, then in the era of society 5.0 is how humans can take advantage of this technology in order to lead to better life in the future. Yeah, this is uh, actually has been published in the uh, uh, social media. So, how about the role of logistic industry in this digital world? Yeah, we can see here uh, at least a uh, seven uh, section. Yeah, we can see optimized, optimized logistic, unmanned stores, high precision preventive medicine. Automated optimized production, optimized generation storage, AR and or VR classes, and G is automated driving. So, first of all, uh, automated optimized logistic. Automat automated optimized logistic is referred to use to the use of automatic automation and optimization technique to improve. The efficiency of log logistic operation. It involves implementing technologies such as uh, robotics, artificial intelligence, and Internet of Things to streamline tasks like warehouse operation, route planning, tracking, and demand forecasting. By leveraging those technologies, companies can reduce costs, minimize errors, improve visibility, and enhance overall supply chain performance. And the collaboration data, collaboration data analytics, and continuous improvement are also the key elements in this successfully implementing automated optimized logistics. So you can see on the picture this uh, leveraging these technologies. And in the research, we can see here uh, forty-four percent is very valuable and 30% it will change the business. Yeah, This is the potential impact of artificial intelligence on the business uh, has been uh, surveyed this one. Yeah? So this is a resulting a significant change to various operation and decision making. Yeah, So the reason uh, of this artificial intelligence can be also used uh, to have uh, to as a consultant, yeah, uh, to consult uh, uh, the right business, the right decision to take a logistic business. Okay, then the second is unmanned stores. Unmanned store now is a retail establishment that operate without traditional checkout counter or cashiers. They use advanced technologies like computer vision and mobile payment system to autom automate the shopping process. 
customers enter the store using a mobile application, mobile app, or self-service kiosk, select item and make a payment electronically. Inventory management, minimum staffing, and enhanced confidence are the key features of unmanned stores. Yeah. So the data collected allow for personalized recommendation and insight. The unmanned store is offer a convenient and efficient shopping experience, but challenges such as technology, reliability, and security need to be addressed. So, but it also has some negative impact. The unemployment is the next because many works will be replaced by this machine. So today, many automobile assembly lines have been filled with machineries and robots, forcing the traditional workers to lose their job. Even in supermarket, the store clerk will not be needed anymore as digital devices can take over the human labor. This is uh, according to the study. And this is the research and theory. You can see the additional revenue, 14%. And rejection of operation 15% and efficiency gain is 21%. This is uh, from Denuara. Okay. And the third, the high precision preventive medicine is an approach that combines advanced technologies, data analytics, and personalized strategies to proactively prevent diseases and optimize individual well being. It involves personalized risk assessment, data analytics for predictive modeling, early detection and screening, lifestyle intervention, precision prediction, and digital health technologies. The goal is to provide targeted intervention based on individual health risk and empower individuals to make informed decisions about their health. Collaboration, continuous monitoring, and ethical consideration are important in implementing high precision preventive medicine. So based on the research here, uh, we know for uh, P4, predictive, personalized, preventive, and participatory medicine is a vital factor for the improvement of medical services. It is hoped that one of the main contributions of this study to provide an insight into how uh, P4 medicine in telemedicine and e-health is being applied, as well as proposing outline for the future that contribute to the improvement of prevention and prediction of illnesses. So this is uh, the theory yeah, from Alonso. And the fourth is automated, automated optimized production. Using advanced technologies, data analytics, and optimization strategies to streamline manufacturing processes. It includes automation of tasks, real-time data collection and monitoring predictive maintenance, optimization of production scheduling, supply chain integration, quality control, continuous improvement, human-machine collaboration, energy efficiency, and scalability. Implementing automated optimized production, this requires careful planning, investment in technology, and focus on ongoing optimization for improved efficiency and competitiveness. And the result of this AOP, uh, through observing the simulation result, we find the integration of this technique can provide a good compromise between the scheduling frequency and scheduling delays. The main contribution of the work are the formalization of the flexible job sub-scheduling problem and the development of ad hoc solution method and the proposal validation of an innovative a machine learning and optimization best framework for supporting the scheduling decision. And the six, yeah, this is uh, optimize the, the five, sorry. Optimize generation storage and supply of electricity. You can see here, uh, involve using advanced technologies, data analytics, and optimization strategies to improve the efficiency, reliability, and sustainability of the electricity supply chain. Yeah, include optimizing the generation generation mix, integrating energy storage system, managing demand through demand response program, implementing smart grid infrastructure, and promoting the integration of renewable energy sources. You can see the picture here. Uh, so many uh, power sources here. Yeah, hydro power plant, wind po wind power, photovoltaic uh, photovoltaic power station, 
and power plant and it's consolidated here and into the storage yeah and will be uh, distributed to the users the goal is to create a resilient and sustainable electricity supply system that meets the needs of consumers while minimizing environmental impact so this is um, the research you can see the smart grid application from generation slide generation side network side to demand side here so this proper management will help in safety in safely diversifying energy supplies reducing energy consumption during peak load and improving grid integration condition and reliability and the six is uh, for er ar and vr plus this is augmented reality and virtual reality technologies covering topics such as hardware software development design content creation industry application ethic and collaboration so in the future the class provides hands-on experience and prepare students for careers in the ar and vr industry you can see here uh, many uh, industry uh, such as some industry like healthcare manufacturing retail and all gas can be uh, can use this uh, technology and class uh, to fix or to improve the manpower uh, capability and the theory this new era of PR and ER bring with new issues to consider not only scientifically but also on the side of social impact yeah so it brings new business and mass market opportunities with different focus area entertainment education and training and engage a new and young generation of passionate audience discovering this field and the last one is uh, automated driving uh, also known as autonomous driving or self-driving cars refers to vehicle ability to operate and navigate without human intervention it utilizes sensors computer vision gps mapping control system machine learning and artificial intelligence to perceive surrounding make decision and control the vehicle movement so different level of automation ranging from level zero to level five so i think now we are still in level three yeah and this is uh, the research related the automated driving you can see the activities are general supply chain yeah uh, this is is essential to identify the greater detail the advantage and disadvantage of using automated vehicle compared to conventional vehicle as well that as their integrability in the existing world uh, so the, the can the debt the question of what can be transported of autonomously and what degree of autonomy would be accepted from industry with regard to necessity cost and flexibility remain unanswered modern at all yeah and our closing is uh it depends on what is your business priority whether you amidst the onslaught yeah and competition by keep existing using uh, your fighting spirit if you have a company or a business and prove an expert in the field yeah by adap uh, adaptation this is uh, sustained and proving that one doesn't just dive into the transportation and logistic world uh, by getting profit this is uh, realistic so you can have a tough story or bright future about this uh, what do you call the uh, digital implementation in transportation and logistic i think uh, that's all from me i back to to dr suciana Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Wim Vivati. A wonderful uh, presentation. Let's have uh, um, the first.